welcome back to another gas walkthrough with me, Phil. Um, I'm one of the people who do this. Um, there's also Clover. Philip's around. You, you'll see him another day. Um, but today we are looking at XV Pairs Sudoku. Uh, this is a Sudoku by Clover. Um, and in it, uh, Normal Sudoku rules apply. So you've got the digits one to nine must go on each box, row, and column. Um, once each without repeats. Uh, also, digits separated by an X sum to 10. So that must sum to 10, that must sum to 10, that must sum to 10. Um, digits separated by a V must sum to five. So this must sum to five, this must sum to five, this must sum to five, etc. Um, not all possible X's and V's are necessarily given. Now, that what that means is this can equal three because uh, this can equal three despite the fact that there's no X there. That's something we call a negative constraint, and that appears sometimes in gas. So, like you know, uh, we we like to play around with it, but you know, um, that's a thing you'll see on another day. This puzzle's not that. And speaking of this puzzle, if you want to give this puzzle a go, there's a link right underneath this video where you're watching it. You can you can find it right there. Give it a go. Um, so with that, let's get into it. Uh, you can see how long it took me to solve this puzzle, um, but I'm going to restart and talk my way through it. So in an XV Sudoku, the way that I tend to approach these, because I've done a lot of these now, um, that's what happens when you're part of the gas team. We put out daily free Sudokus that you can find on this channel. Um, what I always look for in an XV Sudoku is the digits one to four. Now, the reason why the digits one to four are so relevant and so useful are that one to four will always be on, the, uh, on a V uh, domino but also they will always be on an X domino. So I can just mentally chunk this information and it will become very useful. Let me show you what I mean. Here, one can't be in this box. So if one can't be in this box, uh, I can't place one again in this box. My apologies. Um, so the only way that I can make five if I can't use a one is two and three. Now, we have a three down here, which means this is two, this is three. So this has to be, this has to use a low digit. Now, it can either be one, two, three, and four, uh, but I've already got one, two, three. So this has to be four, six. Four goes there, six goes there. Now, over here in this box, if I can't use two anymore in this box, means that the only way I can sum to five is one and four. Because I've got a four in column eight, I'm gonna put my four here, my one here. Now, this uh, this X domino here can't be one nine, because it can't have a one, can't be two eight, because it can't have a two, and it can't be four six, because it can't have a four. So it must be three and seven. I have a three here, so I'm gonna put three there and the seven there. Pardon me. Now, this domino, Rather than individually catalog in my brain, can it be one nine? Can it be two eight? Can it be three seven? Can it be four six? What I just do is I just go, hey, this domino here, what low digits can it see? And the answer is it can see a three, it can see a four, it can see a one, meaning it must be two eight. Now, because I have a two over here, I put a two there and an eight there. Uh, I have a double V domino here. Now, uh, because this V domino can't be two or three, it must be one or four. Meaning this is one, this is four, this is one. Now, this V domino here has to be two and three because I have a four there, meaning it can't be uh, two, three, uh, it can't be one, four. Uh, so three here means I'm going to put three here, two here. Let's go up here. Uh, this domino, uh, oh, no, no, I'm going to keep going with my logic that I've already established for today's soul. Um, this X domino, it sees two, three, and that four that I've already got highlighted, meaning it can, it must have a one on it. So that's a one and that's a nine. This is a two, three pair. 
because that's how I can make five. But what is this digit? Because this and this have to sum to 10. Um, if this was three, I would need to put a seven there. But a seven there would break the puzzle because I'd have two sevens in box two. So this is two, this is three, this is eight. Now, this uh, X domino sees two, three, four. So it must be one and nine. Uh, this X domino, it sees two and it sees three. Now that means it can either be uh, one, four, uh, one, nine or four, six. There's a couple ways to look at it, uh, but that six there rules it out. Also that four and six sing both that cell mean it can't be four, six. So it must be one and nine. We already have a one in box uh, one. So let's put a nine there and a one there. Here, we can go back to my same logic uh, that I've been beating that same drum that I've been beating throughout this puzzle. Uh, what load digits does this domino see? One, four, three, meaning it must have a two on it. So there's two and eight. Uh, this, do uh, this domino right here sees two, three, and four. So it must need a one, one and nine. I can actually place those digits right away. Now, this domino here, this one's a little bit, a tiny bit spicy, and it uses a little bit of logic up here that I alluded to, but I didn't really super explain. Now, we know that this uh, domino sees a one and a four. Now, uh, it can either be three, seven, or two, eight. But this cell here sees both three and seven, meaning it can never have a three or a seven on it. So this has to be eight, and that has to be two. And that is basically all of the Sudoku, in the, uh, all of the variant logic in this puzzle. Let's get to actually solving, uh, you know, the Sudoku. So, uh, uh, seven in column in row two puts a seven in there in box two, uh, eight and five uh, because of our two eight pair. Uh, four in box four, can only go there. Um, Ba, ba, ba. In column three, I need to put a six and a nine. We have a six there, so that becomes nine and six, which unwinds this domino for us. Uh, I need to put a nine in column uh, in box seven, because uh, that is a five nine pair that I still need in column two. Uh, it leaves me a nine's place. Now, uh, nine, five, six. I've got a nine there, which is. Uh, rules it out of those cells. I need to put a three, a six, and a seven in those cells. Eight and five to finish off box three. Uh, three there. Now this is four, five, and six. Can't quite do that yet. And this is two, nine. We'll pencil mark that though. Uh, what else have we got going on here? This needs to be, oh, there we go. In column five, I need a five, six, and an eight. This cell sees both six and eight, meaning it must be a five. So this is five, seven, five, six, five, seven. And that's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, these two need to be three and nine. I've got my three in column four. So three goes there, nine goes there, two and nine. I need to put an eight and a six. Eight in column six tells me that that goes there. Uh, this is eight and this is six. And we unwind our last domino. And we are basically almost home. Uh, four, five. I've just had a seven there. I could play since forever. Uh, this is eight, four, and six. I need a three, five, and a seven to go here. Five, three, and seven. Uh, two and four there. Seven and one. Uh, six and five. Four and five. That has been XP. XV pairs Sudoku by Clover. Um, I don't know about you, but I found that puzzle excellent. Anyway, that was awful, and I'm so sorry. But um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is Gas. If you feel if you like it, feel free to drop us a follow or a like or a comment to tell me how bad my jokes are. But with that, I will say goodbye for now. Um, I will see you next time and have a lovely day. Cheers. God, I can't believe I said peers to finish this video. Terrible.